Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Now we start Al Wahdatu Rabia, Adal Surabi, Wasalasun, Al Kalam, Atadribu Lavul, Tabad, the Lil Hiwara, Maha Zami, Nika, Kama, Fil Misal, Al Misal, At Tolibu Lavul, Aina to Sal Lil Juma. Where do you play Juma? At Tolibu Sani. Usalli fil masjid al kabir I pray in the big masjid. At-talibu al-sani wa ayna tusalli anta and where do you pray? At-talibu al-awwal usalli fil masjid al kabir aizan. Aizan mean also. I also pray in the big masjid. So you see that preposition has given kasra to masjid. Then in Arabic, adjective and manut should have same sign. That's why here we see Masjid has Kasra, so al kabir also has Kasra. So, Juma is a Aina to Salil Juma. Juma is Maful Bihi or Maful Fihi in this sentence, so that's why it has Fatha. So, I need two students. Raise your hand. Okay, Miss Salva, you are first student, and Miss Satya, you are second student. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Aina to Sali al Jumuata. Join Lam with Lam. Ya. And Ali will be silent here. Aina to Salil to Salil Jumata Usali fil Masjidil Kabir. Wa Aina to Salil Anta Anti Usali fil Masjidil Kabir Aizen. At the moment, we will consider that you both are male. Okay, next. Aina to Sali Salat al Fajr. Aina to Salil Fajra. Aina to Salil Fajra. Usali fil Masjidil Umar. Okay, when we have specific uh, proper noun, so we don't use Alif Lam with that word, and also we will not use Alif Lam with Masjid. So you say Usali fi Masjidil Umar. No Alif Lam. Usali fi masjidi Umar. Wa aina tusalli anta. Usali fi masjidi Umar aiza. So with proper noun, we cannot use alif noun. Next. Aina tusalli zuhra. Usali fi masjidi Bilalin. Wa aina to Sali Anta Usali fi Masjid Bilal Aizan Anyone else who wants to read? Okay, Miss Salva and Miss Satya continue. No one else wants to read. Continue. Aina to Sali Aina to Sali Asra to Salil Asra Usali Fi Masjidi Usman. Okay, now Miss Satya, you are first student, and Miss Saima, you are second student. The next picture Aina to Salil Maghrib. Usalli al-Maghriba. Ms. Saima, continue. Usalli al-Maghriba fi Masjid Ali. Ms. Saima asked the same question, and where do you pray? Wa aina tu salli anta. Okay, 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 sir, okay. Wa aina tu salli anta. Usalli fi... 
في مسجدي علي في مسجدي علي أيضا. Next. أين تسلل تسلل إيشا؟ أين تسلل إيشا؟ تسلل العشاء في مسجد عمار. أين تسلي أنت؟ أسلي أسلي في مسجد عمار أيضا أيضا أين تسلل الجمعة؟ أسلي الجمعة في مسجد طارق أين تسلي أنت؟ أسلي في مسجد طارق أيضا التدريب الثاني أجيب عن الأسئلة مستعينا بالسؤال answer about the questions making use of the picture answer the questions making use of the picture so you will answer this question according to the picture who wants to do this question raise your hand Miss Satya you will answer first to picture Miss Saima you will answer third picture miss amina you will answer fourth and fifth picture and miss uh, dr rizwana you will answer the sixth picture so miss satya continue so mm. yes salam alaikum wa alaikum salam i raise my hand for a question yeah. uh, relating to the previous task but it can wait until the sisters have done the okay Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Yes, ask Miss Amina. We better finish. Uh, in the previous example, uh, where we say, where the, it says, Masjidi Umar, Masjidi Bilal. Uh, if we were putting the haraka on the second word, would that haraka be Kasra? Okay. So you are asking that if we put on the second letter, which second letter, Mim or Ra? Second word, second, second. word, Umar, okay. Bilal, Uthman. Okay, now your question is this, what if we put the Kasra with Umar, Bilal, Uthman, am I right? Yes, I just would like to understand which mark should be on the end of each of those names. Okay. So it, if it, uh, there is a lesson which is called Mamnu Minasarf in Arabic. So if, oh, okay. a word, if a word is Mamnu Minasarf, then in this situation we will put a fata on it. But if a word is not Mamnu Minasarf, then we will put Kasra here. So with words like Bilalin, Ammarin, Tarikin, we can put Kasra. Okay? But yes let me tell you one more simple rule which is more easy for you that with proper nouns we don't use any vowel at the end in spoken so you better just simply say masjidi umar masjidi bilal masjidi ammar masjidi ali because all of these are proper nouns so you better not use any vowel at their end okay and it thank you and it relates to my question because i was looking at this phrase masjid al umar masjid al bilal because you said we don't use the definite article we don't use alif lam on masjid um so is this mudaf mudaf ilay is that why okay your second question is it mudaf or mudaf ilay no it is not mudaf mudaf ilay it is not manut Okay. So it's not Umar's masjid, it's not Bilal's masjid. No, it is used in the sense of not manut. In the first, uh, let, let's understand the example first. In the first uh, one, it is used in the sense of not manut. In the second okay. one, you can say that it is Muzaf and Muzafili in some situation, but I will not say it is Muzaf Muzafili. Even I will say in that situation that it is not manut. Okay, thank you. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Okay, now we will answer these questions. Okay. 
Miss Satya answered the first two pictures. Masa Yaf Alu Yafalu Ahmad. He is reading Quran. He is reading Quran. Yaf Alu Yaf Alul Quran. No, no, Yakra Ul Quran. Correct. Yakra Ul Quran. Next. Masa Taf Alul Bintu. Um. Taak, taak nusul. Yes. Taak nusul gurfati. Taak nusul gurfata. Okay. Someone is asking that whether we will learn the gadan or not. So inshallah we will study the gadan also later. This book color be to bina yadu has eight parts. In first two parts we will not focus on grammar. We will only focus on vocabulary. That's why you see at the moment I am only focusing on vocabulary. We'll start the grammar from the third part, inshallah. Okay, now Miss Rahma answered the next two pictures. Miss Rahma, are you available? She's not available. Okay, available. Continue, Ms. Rama. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as salam. Been to Dak Nasul. The question is Maza Yaf Alur Rajulu. What is the man doing? Maza. Okay. A Rajulu Yaf Yusali. Correct. Arjunbu Yusali. Next. Next. Okay. Maza Taf Anu Fatima. Fatima. Tusha 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 Hidu. Tilfaz. Okay, Fatma to Shahidut Tilfaz. Alif Lam will be silent. To Shahidut Tilfaz. Okay, Miss Serena, answer the next two pictures. Maza Tafalu Khadija. Okay. Tagsilu. Al-Malabis. Okay. Al-Malabisa. Taqsilul Malabisa. Alif will be silent. Whenever there is a word before Alif, Alif becomes silent. Taqsilul Malabisa. Maza yaf'alu Muhammad? What's he doing? Okay. Yaqsilu Yaqsilul Atbaqa, yes, the axiom Atbaqa. Does anyone has any question? I think nobody has any question. So we we'll revise the our hadith lesson again. Many of you have not submitted the Hadith homework. They must submit it within one week. If anyone has any problem in so answering that, feel free to ask me. But you must complete homework within one week. I gave the homework, I think, on Saturday, maybe. Yes, Saturday. So before next Saturday, you all must complete the Hadith homework also. I have separate class on Google Classroom for Hadith work. So you all must join that Google class and complete your Hadith work before Saturday. Next, who, uh, who wants to read and translate it? Raise your hand. Miss Salva will read and translate it. 
Miss Salva, are you available? Is not Miss Saima, you can do it. Kitabu Bad Rahim Kitabu a book Bad U start a Wahyu revelation. Okay, so the book on start a revelation. Yes, what is called? Kala, uh, he said, Okay, next. Kala Shaykhu, uh, Shaykhu said. Leave that sentence, okay? Proceed to this one. Babu chapter Kaifa, how Kala was Badu started Al Wahi revelation Ila Rasulullah uh, to Allah's Prophet. Sallallahu alayhi wa peace be upon him. Okay, Rasul means messenger, to messenger of Allah. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah's messenger. Okay. okay. So mm -hmm. the chapter means how was the revelation started to messenger of Allah. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Okay, next. Wa qawli Allahi jalla dhikruhu. The statement of Allah jalla dhikruhu. Inna awhayna ilayka indeed. We revealed uh, Ilaika uh, to you. Kama Alhaina, as we revealed Ila Nuhin to Prophet Nu, one Nabiyina, uh, and all prophets, uh, to all prophets, Mimbadihi, uh, after his. After him, okay. The word Nabiyina does not mean all prophets. It is a plural word, but it does not mean all prophets, it means prophets. So, prophets. indeed, we have revealed to you as we have revealed to Prophet Nu and prophets who were after him. Okay. After the word. Next, you probably looked at the translation. Don't look at the translation. Okay, next we have here Al Kama said. Okay, what did Al Kama said? Miss Saima, continue. Al Kama bin Al Qas Laisi Yakulu. He said that Samia to Omar ibn Al Khattabi. I heard uh, Omar ibn Al Khattab. Razi Allahu anhu. May Allah be pleased with him. May Allah be pleased to him. Sir, there is a picture of a hand. Okay. Oh, okay. Alal Mimbari on Mimbar. Mimbar means pulpit. Mimbar means pulpit. pulpit. Okay. Do you know what is Paula, He said that Samia to I. Do you Allah know? Salama, Rasulullah. I heard Messenger of Internet Allah, Allah Salama, peace be upon I think there is some problem with Miss Saima internet connection. Dr. Rizwana, continue. From Alal Membari. Membari. From the pulpit, Alal Mimbari on from the, on, on, the, the, on the pulpit. Kala, he said, Sametu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I heard from Rasulullah, may peace be upon him. Next. Which one? Oh. Yakulu. Do you see the cursor? Yeah, now I saw. Sir. Yakulu. He said. He was saying. He was saying. Innamal amalu bin niyati. Indeed, the actions are from the 
intention intentions the action depends upon the intentions okay action depends upon the intentions wa innama likulli likulli mrin and indeed each man for each man likullim for each man for each man manawa what he intended what what he intended faman kanat hijratuhu and faman so the one whose so, hijratuhu migration who is migration was so the one whose migration the one was, whose migration was ila dunia to, to the world, world. okay yusibuha yusibu he can earn he can gain ha it he can gain it au or ila imratin and au mean or 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 ila to the woman to a woman yan ki huha whom he has married yan ki huha so that he can marry her so that he can marry her fa hijratuhu ila ma hajara ilayhi so his migration ila towards towards what he migrated for for okay anyone any question miss sir Ardu. i have a question okay uh, what is the meaning of yusibuha okay yusibu ya mean he and sib is me for earning gaining so you see bu he earns he can earn he can gain or he gains all these are its meaning and ha is used for dunya ha mean it ha mean it sir uh, why we are using can here can shows a possibility so it is understood that uh, when migration would be toward yes so its main purpose we are just showing that its main purpose is to gain the world worldly benefit okay anyone okay. else assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam um on that same word is it coming from the root uh, sada or where is it coming from saba saba he gained you see who he's gaining he's earning thank you yeah, and the other question uh is uh in the first part i noticed there's a difference in the way it says wahi yes um i can't see it right, right now but one has no dots on the year as if it's alif and the other one has dots as if it's year Okay you are So in the title me? Yes in the title um there's no dots and then in the text um further down there's some um, some dots Okay and I just so wondered why it. this is the case So your question is here we don't have any dots in ya and it looks like it is alif maksura and here we have dots yes. So yes here you see this phrase is written without any vowels in arabic yes when a phrase is written without any vowel you will notice that we don't use dots with ya so for that you need to understand the sentence in order to understand whether it is ya or whether it is alif maksura so here yes. they are not using any dots so that's why they have not written any dots here any 
they are not using any vowel in this sentence that's why they didn't write any dots here but here you see they are using vowels so when we use vowels we use dots also so word okay. is absolutely same in both of these thank you so the the, the heading yes kitabu uh, 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 wahi yes is wahi okay yes. thank you Anyone else? Miss Kinza is asking what are the vowels in Arabic language? Vowels in Arabic are called harakat, and the last vowel of the word is called arab. So the last vowel is called arab, and the rest of the vowels of the word are called harakat. Anyone else? 